Welcome back to my channel. I'm just driving through the neighborhood right now with two happy, happy, happy Labradors. Buddha, what do you want to watch the So Buddha saw that I was heading down to the waterway at least three days a week. We take the elephant down to the waterway for a bath. She just swims, she gets all cleaned off, she has the time of her life, and the Labradors think it's the greatest thing ever. So he saw me heading that way, he knew exactly what we were doing. Both of these boys are about seven, eight years old. Um, I actually got George when he was a puppy. So Buddha, we got somewhere around seven months old. What happened is uh, someone we kind of knew had picked up the puppy and that man actually got very, very sick and he had to go to the hospital. He could not care for the dog. Um, his brother ended up with the dog for a little while and his brother also couldn't care for the dog. It seemed like the problem was going to be a long time problem. So we inherited the beautiful Buddha and he absolutely loves it here. He loves swimming with the elephant. Are you ready, Buddha? Are you ready to go play? There's Bubbub! She's heading down to the river! Elephants absolutely adore swimming. It cools them off and they just act like puppies in there. And I think that's why she likes her puppies. Cause she's just like them, she has so much fun. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep heading through the neighborhood and we'll see you guys down at the water. Jam right under the dog. Buddha, come on. So George actually lives with me and Buddha lives with Cody and Sugriva. But they love getting together and just having a good time on the water. They love playing fetch. And uh, I think that it actually feels really good um, to have the dogs jumping on and off of Bubbles back and kind of just uh, giving her a scratch that she can't itch. Yeah. This is Bella. Bella is actually 14 years old. She's still having so much fun just running around here. Bella was actually abandoned on the property. Oh my gosh, everyone showed up to the party. This is Chiron. He's one of the big, beautiful Rottweilers we have here on the property. He's about five years old and handsome. So he's actually just out here watching everybody. He doesn't really participate. He will steal the ball if he gets the chance and he won't give it back. Hi, George. George is good at bringing it back. Oh, they let Bella have the ball. Bella, can I have the ball? Yeah. Sometimes these two fellas actually let her get the ball, which I think is very sweet. All right, you guys ready? So Buddha, unfortunately, destroys every ball. So we have to get it away from him as fast as possible or he'll break it in half and it won't float anymore. Bub Bub's out there having a good time. The temperature is absolutely beautiful right now. Oh, they're gonna go over there. Look at him. He's like, I wanna get on the elephant. And look at her, she'll actually lay down and she will let him get on her back because she loves getting the attention. She loves being touched by them. And like I said, I think that they're able to scratch her back and I think it feels amazing. Look at these boys. They're gonna play fetch. <gasps> They'll actually sit down here with Bubbles and play for hours. They all love it so much. There's really no competition between them, which I think is pretty amazing. They all really get along super well. A bunch of happy dogs. You gotta love a Labrador. Um, I did read recently that Labradors are um, the most popular dog in at least three different countries. And I can see why. They're just so fun loving, so happy, so sweet. They're ready. We're ready to play. Uh oh, Ron's gonna get it! Ron's gonna get it! Ah! <laughs> they do have a lot of respect for Ron. <laughs> Hi, Ron. We call him Ron. Good boy. We usually wait until right around sunset. That way, there's not too many boats out here on the waterway. We don't want to cause any disturbances to any of the boats, although everyone seems to thoroughly enjoy seeing this. 
Can you imagine being on vacation in Myrtle Beach, raining a sea to her a boat, and all of a sudden you show up and there's an elephant in the water. She loves it so much. We actually have guests that will come occasionally and we'll swim with her. It's her own game. She's not being told to work. This is the gift that we give her because it is her favorite thing in the whole wide world is to come down here and swim with people and to swim with dogs. She is uh, probably better compared to a tank than to an animal. <laughs> You're making bubbles for me, bubbles? You're such a beautiful baby. This is her beautiful trunk. Those, all those tiny little muscles. And did you know they're covered in hair? Look at all that hair. The hair is almost like wire. And that really kind of helps protect her from some of the bugs. And if you get a little closer, she has beautiful eyelashes that also protect her from bugs. You got the most beautiful eyelashes ever. She's got a hold of me. <laughs> she just decided to pick me up while I was filming. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. So this is a game that Bubbles created on her own. She picks people up. Sometimes she'll just hold them on her head or she'll actually help push all the way to her back. And then, just like the dogs, she wants you to jump off and do it again. She'll literally do this hundreds of times until I'm worn out. The dogs rarely get worn out. Uh, yeah. She'll literally just hold me here sometimes for 10 minutes. I like it because she's actually very, very warm. So yeah, right now it's beautiful. There's a boat coming behind us. Let's see if they see her. I'd say easily 50% of the boats that go by never see her. I guess that's a good sign. I guess that means they're paying attention to driving, which is what they should be doing. But I have done this for three to five days a week for 20 years. I have never gotten sick of it. It is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do. Bubble is a gentle giant. She's literally one of the sweetest animals. I don't even want to call her an animal, just the sweetest. She loves being out here. She loves Doc Antle because Doc Antle saved her. She's an ivory orphan, right? Her parents were actually killed for ivory and he flew all the way over to, to uh, Africa in a 747 and picked her up. They slept hand in trunk for more than a decade. She knows she's safe. Look at her, she's so happy. We have introduced her to a bunch of other elephants. She doesn't like elephants, that's fine. Some people don't like people, but uh, she absolutely loves her dogs. So we have a ton of dogs on the property. We have 22 dogs on the property. They love to come and play with her. But of course, the Labradors are the most playful and the most water loving. You see that? She just lays down and she says, yes, all the dogs, all the people, get on my back. getting in the water is because those wrinkles hold water. When it's like the middle of the summer and it's hot as can be in Africa, those wrinkles are gonna hold water and help cool down her body. That huge ear, it's hard to see right now, but it's actually shaped like the continent of Africa. So when you look at a big elephant and it looks like its ear looks like the continent of Africa, that's an African elephant. Did I teach you something new? <laughs> So you see these dogs are here on her back. There's a funny new story that somebody made up. And the story is that elephants have weak backs. There is no truth in that whatsoever. How do we know this? Because if a female elephant wants to make baby elephants, the only way they can do that is to have a male who could be twice her size, even more, stand on her back. Right? He has to stand up on top of her to be able to breed. So she has an incredibly strong back. Um, she loves it. If she didn't like it, she wouldn't allow it to happen. But watch her over and over and over again. She lays down so those dogs can get up there. But she just loves the contact, just like we do. It's like a hug or having a dog just come and lay next to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.